once we retired, when we were done with our jobs, we knew we were going to move from Buffalo to Phoenix. We moved from the place that gets the most snow to the place that gets the most sun. We were going to get solar put on no matter what. The solar field is the largest that APS has currently. It covers approximately 400 acres of land. We are standing in the middle of approximately 180,000 solar panels. These panels are a single access tracking mechanism. They track to the east, to the west, to capitalize on the most sun. What makes this different and unique from a residential system is we're able to harvest the energy first thing in the morning and late at night. As great as solar is for our system and helps us, it also creates many challenges for APS as well because we have to have enough capacity when the sun goes down to be able to provide the energy for our customers. Harnessing energy is one thing. Getting it to your homes is another. That's where operations comes in. All the different complexity of an electrical grid is very important, and we have a team of people that manages that. Hey, Tony, can we take a look at the Red Rock Solar Plant? Yeah, right here you see Scott. The Distribution Operations Center is a 24-7, 365 centralized operations center where we monitor the performance of the grid. They needed a system to be able to get that very quick response and uh, a lot of data coming in so they could analyze it quickly and then be able to make changes to the system on an as-needed basis. To do that, we had to develop a series of very user-friendly screens and things that the operators were very intuitive for them. That had never been done on a scale like this. So how does the system look? Uh, system is up, it's running, looks good right now. SciCam platform allows us to control those residential rooftop systems. It's really kind of our bridge that allows us to get data and information back and then actually issue commands and controls out. These systems are interconnected on our side of the meter, so therefore we have the ability to control the inverters, and basically they're acting as 1,600 power plants owned by APS, but yet the customers get the benefit of the renewable energy. It's the first time that a utility has really looked at not just simply adding additional solar or providing solar to a set of customers, but doing it in such a way that, that the utility, in fact, has central control of those systems. The power itself flows into the grid, not just into the single individual's home. It's going to give us a level of control over the grid that we've never had before. 